Your weather, Ben. One summer's day in 2014 had much of Metro Detroit looking for an arc. Seven inches of rain in just hours caused millions of dollars in damage. Now there's a move afoot in Lansing to protect municipalities from lawsuits in those cases, which effectively puts the homeowner on the hook. Local 4 business editor Rod Maloney is live in Huntington Woods with the reaction. Hey, Rod. Well, hi, Jason. You know, take a look behind me here. This is Lincoln Street in Huntington Woods, and the trash back then was piled as tall as I am, and it went all the way down the street in either direction because virtually every basement in this neighborhood had feet of water in it. And of course, a lot of the people here had insurance. A lot of people wanted to sue the city. And it's one of those things where, you know, if you have that option, you certainly want to take it. But there's new legislation in Lansing that could end that practice. OK, so your basement floods and you want to sue the city. It's the city's sewer system that's backed up after all. Well, Maury Wiener of Huntington Woods knows all too well he lived that waterlogged horror show himself. We ended up with two feet of water in our basement. Uh, we lost the, uh, it was a finished basement that we lost there. We lost the washer, dryer, fridge, appliances. Um, it, was about in about, it was about two steps up the stairs. Cost him $40,000 on top of his insurance claim, and he didn't sue, mainly because just about every one of his neighbors was in the same boat bailing basement water. Well, Rochester Republican State Representative Michael Weber is concerned for the municipalities in these cases. He's proposed a law that would protect the municipalities, believing it will leave more money to repair roads and sewer systems. He claims it's the attorneys cleaning up in those lawsuits. Maury is decidedly not on board with that. There's old pipes and systems. Um, certainly we pay taxes, we pay plenty, plenty of taxes, and uh, there should be uh, uh, things should be repaired and fixed and updated um, as much as can be. And neither is the Michigan League of Conservation voters lining up against the bill saying it's unfair to homeowners considering we're seeing more high rainfall events than ever before. Now it is tough to sue a municipality. A lot of people in the neighborhood did and failed in that effort. But uh, Maury says, look, if you do pass a bill that essentially makes it so that the municipalities are held harmless, then they have no incentive whatsoever to update the infrastructure. Reporting live in Huntington Woods, Rod Maloney, Local 4.